Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna be doing my review of the 16 inch 2019 MacBook Pro. Stay tuned. So let's just jump right in. This is the latest MacBook from Apple. And what can you expect from this thing? Well, number one, at a base model, which is what this one is, this is the base model 2019 MacBook Pro, you are gonna get 16 gigabytes of RAM, you're gonna get 512 gigabytes of solid state storage, and you are gonna get the Intel UHD Graphics 630. What does that all mean? Well, for starters, you are getting a phenomenal Core i7 processor. So it's six core, it can be upgraded to nine core if you so choose. Now, if you're gonna be doing really, really heavy editing, like red or stuff like that, you will definitely wanna look at the i9s. I personally don't shoot in red. I shoot in 4K, but even the 4K I shoot doesn't need that many cores of processing power. So it is going to be okay with the i6. And believe me, the editing of the unboxing video normally on my old Mac Pro, would have taken about two hours. On this MacBook Pro, it took less than five minutes. It was insanely fast to edit and export. Oh my God, it was so buttery smooth. It's phenomenal. So just to show you here, I am running Mac OS Catalina, and this is my first time using Catalina. My original uh, Mac, my Mac Pro ran High Sierra. So I did have some familiarity with some of the newer stuff, but not all of the new stuff was supported on High Sierra and I just didn't really have a full exposure to it. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So I've got my screen recording here and I just wanna show you a little bit of what this computer is capable of. So I'm launching Adobe Premiere Pro here. And you can see for yourself how amazing uh, this computer is. I'm gonna open the video that you guys saw yesterday and show you the exact project. So this is what it looked like when I was ready to export. Yep, yep. And you can see I've got a lower third and you can see I'm jumping around here on my Mac Pro. This would have been a struggle. It would have been processing and notice I don't have any proxies created on my Mac Pro. I would have had to create proxies. And while I still am a huge fan of proxy files, it's just an extra step that you don't need to do on this MacBook Pro. It's super powerful on its own that you don't need to take that time to create the proxy files, bring them back into Premiere. It's just a lot of extra steps that aren't necessary. Here, super buttery smooth. And you can see, this is a 4K shot. If I go in and I, uh, let's just go to the effects here, controls here, and let's just put this back at 100% and I reset this back to where this was. You can see it's a really wide shot. It's not super bad. Also, the microphone on this thing. Oh my God, can we talk about that microphone? It is that good that this entire video, I'm using the microphone on this Mac Pro. Yes, I am crazy enough to use a microphone built into a laptop because this microphone is so good. And normally I'd be the one saying, don't use it. It's not worth it. You're gonna regret it. It's not the case with this one. It sounds so good and so professional that even in the unboxing, I want you to try and find it. I did have to dub in some audio and I want you guys to find it because you will not be able to tell the difference between my iPhone microphone, which is what I normally use versus this microphone it's super crystal clear and you don't notice the difference and you would never know that this is a laptop microphone that is being recorded on right now 
Other things I really, really like about this MacBook are the fact that it's just so snappy. I'm used to having to wait for things to open, physical drives to spin up. And this is really my first experience with SSD. I've had SSDs and other laptops. I know I've replaced hard disk drives to SSD. I've done all that. I've had it. It is very fast. This is really my truly made to work with an SSD experience and it's just so fast. Um, it's unbelievable. The cooling on this. Now, the 2015 or the 2019 15 inch MacBook Pros had a huge heat sink problem. They didn't cool fast enough and people were having tons of issues with it. Not the issue with this one. I've been using it now long enough that I can tell you that it does get warm. It's not going to be even temperature the entire time. No, it is going to get warm, but it's not gonna burn you. And quite frankly, most of the time I don't even notice. It does kick up the fans when it needs to. It's not going to constantly just run the fans at full blast when it doesn't need to. It will thermal or control itself and go up when needed in higher intense situations when it needs a little extra power. And right now, just running idle like this, it's pretty quiet. I can barely even tell it's on, except for the fact that the screen's on in front of me. Uh, Overall, love this new MacBook Pro. It is super convenient to have the power it brings and the abilities this unlocks. I mean, I'm running the full Adobe suite. I use Photoshop, Premiere, After Effects. I've used most of them already, and I can tell you it is extremely powerful, and this is an investment that I am not regretting. So what did my final bill come out to? Well, with tax and everything, it was about $2,313. Now, that was with student education discounts, and I do recommend it. I mean, obviously, take advantage of a discount when you can. Save your money. Don't spend more than you need to on these things. Um, highly beneficial. I'm in love with this MacBook Pro. It is super convenient. Um, I have it set up the way I want it. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it other than this thing is amazing. I'm trying to think of something negative. Oh, I did think of one thing. The camera. The built-in camera on here is still a 720p camera. It's not the greatest. It's not horrible, but it's not great. Um, you know, for as much as they did with the microphone and improving that, I'm shocked that they didn't go ahead and improve the uh, webcam built inside. You know, I have a Logitech C920 that I use all the time, and that thing is 1080, and this is only 720p. I just find that very strange. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.